Hey guys, Jay Nasty here. What is up guys? So I got some sniper footage for you guys today. It's the new Moors update. So apparently uh, Sledgehammer has increased the damage to the Moors and the Atlas with the sniper rifles to the upper shoulders, which is kind of a weird statement to make. Um, just saying the upper shoulder hitbox you get more damage to, which I don't know what that means necessarily, but I used the gun in domination and then I played some one shot. I went on a couple good streaks, but unfortunately like every single streak, I got a hit marker on a guy, he turns the corner, kills me, uh, and then in the second clip, I get knifed on a 21 or 22 in, in one shot playlist. And I think in one shot, you don't get hit markers too often, uh, but when you're playing like regular domination, you, you get a little bit more hit markers. So I used this gun for about an hour and a half today, got a lot of good streaks. Um, one thing that sucks about Advanced Warfare, it's really, really hard to snipe. Um, the game is so vertical, and when somebody gets close to you, they can exit to your left or to your right or jump really, really high. And it makes sniping extremely, extremely difficult. So when you play in a normal game, most of the time, like 99% of the time, there's no snipers. But if you go back to older Call of Duties, there's some snipers. So this is kind of why this update is kind of irrelevant to the game itself. It's just because this game is just so vertical and it's so difficult to snipe. And that's why I see a lot of these bigger YouTubers, they're not playing this game. They're not sniping in this game uh, because re there's really no point to because it's almost impossible to get feeds and it's almost impossible um, to do well with the sniper in this game. Um, I know a lot of you guys say, oh, I say it's impossible, but yes, you can go on your terrors, you can go on your streaks, but overall, it's really difficult to use a sniper in this game, and that's why the update kind of isn't so relevant, but I'll just give you guys just my thoughts on the new more. So I was using the gun. I don't have any elite weapons. I have the silver bullet that decreases or increases your damage by two. So if you guys know anything about damage on your sniper rifle, it really doesn't mean anything. Like uh, increase in damage means nothing on the stat wise um, on the sniper rifle. Drifter made a video on it, and I trust his um, his experiments or whatever his his facts. I, I whatever whatever Drifter says, I believe is fact on a video when he does like an in depth or whatever. So like plus two damage on a sniper is the same as a sniper with minus two damage. The damage is the same. And so with this new update, what I've noticed is you like with the Moors, you don't get a lot of hit markers at all. I think I used it. I think I got about a hundred over a hundred kills this morning, and I think in all I got three to four hit markers out of a hundred kills. Very very consistent. I was getting one shots to the legs as well. So I think in general, the, the gun just got a damage buff overall because I was getting shots to the legs and I was still getting the same kind of like hit markers on the shoulders. Like all my hit markers were up on the upper chest and all my one shots were on the legs actually. So I'm pretty sure it's just a damage buff increase to the moors um, in general. So um, the gun is really, really solid. You can actually, you know, you can actually use it now. I don't know before if you guys ever used a sniper before the patch. I haven't sniped in a long, long time, but it was just a hit marker machine. You would get so many hit markers, and um, it was pretty. It was quite impressive. Like when the game first came out, you would see these guys playing FFA. Like FFA was like practically the only place you could get a uh, some feeds because you knew the spawns and stuff like that. Like so, you spawn kill a guy, you turn to another spawn, like etc. etc. And uh, it was crazy that they weren't getting these hit markers in these like five man feeds because the Moors used to be a hit marker machine. Now, not so much. Also, the Atlas got buffed. I think it is the Atlas. I think the Atlas is the big one, like the big, it, it looks like a goddamn stinger on your shoulder, right? I think that got a buff as well. I don't really think that one needed a buff. I get one shots consistently with that gun as well. But overall, like I said, the Moors is actually really, really good. By the way, playing some one shot right here. And. Every time I play one shot, every single time I play one shot, there's always one guy on the enemy team knifing, and I don't know why this is. Why do people come to one shot to knife? I'll have no clue. And why is knifing like so good in this game when people just run out with that, that melee knife? It's like Black Ops 2 when people would run out with a knife. It's insanely good. Lunging, you don't even have to look at the person and you can knife them. That's a big problem in Advanced Warfare in my opinion, is when a person can actually just beat you down or knife you without even be, like looking at you. It's pretty ridiculous. I think in Black Ops 3, though, it's going to be hard to knife, so that's a good thing. But overall, guys, I say the Moors is actually usable. It's actually a really, really good sniper now. Very consistent. Before, it was really, really inconsistent. And just overall, I think it's a damage buff increase to the gun. I don't think the, the hitbox is a... If you shoot him up in the upper chest, it's an automatic one-shot. Because, like I said, I had four hit markers this morning. All the way to the upper chest. Even in that, that clip you guys saw me die, I put it right in his upper arm where the patch said... Oh, we increased this damage, and I really don't think they did. I think it's just overall uh, damage increase. So anyways, guys, that's really all I had to talk to you guys about today. I think I'm going to upload some Black Ops 2 live face cam stuff. I was playing some live face cam gameplay in this game today, 
But man, I was playing with the Steel Bite, and every single game that I would play this morning, I would just get thrown into a game after game after game. And then I come to one shot, and I was getting in at the beginning of almost every single match. It's kind of weird when I play in TDM or Domination, I just get thrown into matches that are practically over. And then I come to one shot. I guess one shot might be a popular playlist. I'm not too sure, but um, it is very, very annoying when you get thrown into games consistently and consistently. Um, and as you guys know, I'm a huge ground war player. I used to play ground war all the time. You, you really ground war is unplayable in this game, in my opinion. Um, just due to the the skill based matchmaking, it's just not. It's no bueno. It's no bueno, boys. Um, also, my my PS what is it? I don't even know what it's called. My PSN subscription ran out this morning, so I'm really really sad. Got to buy new uh, PSN, which kind of sucks because I mean it used to be free. Now you got to pay. But it's really all I had to talk about. That's my day. I'm gonna go golfing. I'm gonna take the GoPro for once. I've never taken the GoPro uh, golfing, so you guys can see. But the only bad thing is when I'm going to somewhere nice, usually when I go, it's like one of my normal places that are like, what, like 20 to 30 bucks? This place is actually like, uh, if you guys ever heard of an app called Golf Now, I got it pretty cheap. But it's a really nice golf course, and I'm going to take the GoPro. And you guys aren't going to like get to see me like my normal state, like where I can't, like when I drive a golf cart and wreck shit. Like I'm, I am dangerous on a golf cart, boys. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. This is where I get knifed. I don't think I could have even had the DNA bomb looking at the score. We were 9 off, and I was on the 22. So, yeah, uh, we were absolutely just demolishing these guys. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Slut bag. Motherfuckers. And I rage quit. Yes, I did. See you guys later.